Hi there, Burke County Middle School Chorus students. It's Mr. Wes, and today we are launching a cookie dough fundraiser to help your chorus program raise funds. I know you guys, I think, are just kind of finishing up the chocolate bar sale. This is a little bit different. There's gonna be prizes and incentives and things like that that you can win for selling items in the fundraiser. And to me, we are selling the best product that you can sell in fundraising, cookie dough, right? We have tons of different flavors that people can purchase. Um, and also different styles. We have frozen cookie dough, right? We have already mini soft bakes and then just mini bakes that are kind of more of like a soft, crunchy um, cookie as well. So that's what we're gonna be doing. So you all will have received a packet and inside of that packet are the details about the fundraiser. You're gonna have the cookie brochure, there's what's called a parent letter in there, should be a prize flyer as well, and then your order taker. So the cookie brochure should look like this. It says Simply Cookies. Like I was saying, there's three different styles that people can purchase. You got like the traditional frozen cookie dough, right? Which two most popular flavors are chocolate chip and white chocolate macadamia. But all you'll notice all of our cookies are made with premium ingredients. You've got her, all of our chocolate chips are Hershey and white chocolate Hershey. Uh, so all of the peanut butter products are Reese. All of the caramel products are Heath. Um, but the cookies sell very, very well. There are 36 cookies in a box. So they're pre-cut circles, just ready to throw in the oven. Uh, and then you have like the big, big cookies, kind of like, like that size, um, but those are the soft bakes that are already done and people can order those as well. So a few different ways that we can help. I will say though, students, to have the most success, okay, usually most of the programs I work with, we have a goal and that goal is to make at least $5,000 in profit. Now, I think that you guys have around 80 or so students, maybe just a little bit less than that there. If we could average eight, if we sold eight things of cookie dough per student, right, in the course program there at Burke County High School, um, we would be able to reach our goal, okay? So again, eight things of cookie dough will allow us to reach our goal. Um, again, it could be a form of frozen cookie dough, it could be mini bakes, or it could be soft bakes, okay? Now, super simple again, people will look through this brochure over the next few weeks, okay? As they look through that brochure, Okay, we wanna make sure that we're taking their orders on the order form. So those two things go together. I will say there is an online store. So if somebody doesn't want cookie dough, okay, they can scan that QR code. Um, also, they can go to funshop.com, which is on the parent letter that's in the packet. You can register. When you register, it's really intuitive, okay? But it's gonna ask you for a six digit ID to register for Burke County High School Chorus. That six digit ID is 102. 526. So once you register that, okay, you'll be able to send out text messages. You can send out emails. It's really, really easy for you to actually make a ton of sales online that aren't even cookie dough. The great thing for you as a student is you can get things that will count towards your prizes and incentives. The high school course program will get the credit for those, right? Um, and even better for you, you won't even have to deliver those items. So the online store is something where we've had a ton of success um, you know, not just for the last few years, but more and more I see us going forward with that, where a lot of people purchase and buy things online. Hey, same thing with this fundraiser. They can buy things online. You'll get the support. The chorus will raise those funds. So that's really what we're going to be doing. You've got the cookie dough for kind of in-person ordering folks there in Burke County. We put their orders on the order sheet, right? And then you have any of those online items that people can purchase, right? To help support your chorus program. And most of those items will be shipped out directly to folks' homes. Okay. Now, if you sell, right, the items, right, we want you to sell eight. If you can sell eight, we're gonna have a ton of success, right? But if you sell five items, okay, I do 10 foot cell phone charger extenders. I got them for, you know, new iPhones, Type C, um, old school Android, new Android, any charger you have, I will hook you up with that. But it is five items, 10 foot cell phone charger extender. Now, if you sell 10 items in the fundraiser, right, two more than we're asking you to try and do your best to do, I will cater Chick-fil-A lunch for you. Okay, so what that means is I'll bring Chick-fil-A down there to Burke County High, right? You can choose, okay? I'll create a Google Drive and then you'll get to choose. You can choose between a 12 count nugget or a sandwich. I do chips, a cookie, and then you can choose between sweet tea or lemonade. So 10 items, okay, catered Chick-fil-A lunch. You sell 20 items, I'm gonna do a Burke County hoodie, right? So we'll be able to choose, I think between three colors we could probably choose there at Burke County. You could do obviously white or blue, royal blue, or maybe even black. Um, but we'll choose one of those three colors. Typically what I do is I let the students who sell 20 items in the fundraiser, you all can choose what color hoodie you want. 
and then we'll put that big BC logo that you guys have kind of in just the center of it. But that's 20, you would get that hoodie. Again, all prizes are cumulative. So I have a lot of students that want to just get those hoodies. Um, Cause yeah, even when it's hot outside, sometimes the schools are cold and students love wearing hoodies. So they'll sell the 20, get the hoodie, you'll get the Chick-fil-A and you would get that 10 foot cell phone charger. Now, if you go above and beyond, if you sell 50 items in the fundraiser, I'm just gonna give you $200 in cash, right? That's your cash. You can do whatever you want with that. Uh, if you think about it, that's you personally, right? Making $4 for every single item that you sell in the fundraiser. And then last but not least, if you go way above and beyond, you sell 100 items, I let you choose between three things. You can choose a PlayStation 5, $500 in cash, or a brand new Apple iWatch. So all prizes are cumulative. So if you sold to that level, right, 100 items in the fundraiser, which I have already had quite a few students do this school year, um, if you sell 100, okay, you would get the $500 in cash, say you chose the cash option, plus the 200. So $700 in cash, plus the hoodie, plus Chick-fil-A, right, plus that 10-foot cell phone charger extender. So students, that's what we're gonna be doing over the course of the next few weeks. Let's raise $5,000 in profit. The more of you that sell eight right items in this fundraiser, it's going to allow us to achieve that success. So good luck with the fundraiser, and I will see you all on prize day once we wrap this cookie dough fundraiser up. Thanks so much, and I hope you have a great weekend.